atomic theory of matter, okay, and pretty much um, elements are the basic substances that make up all matter. Okay, so we look at the periodic table and each, you know, they all represent different elements. Okay, combined as atoms, they form various molecules and compounds. Okay. In 1809, John Dalton described the atoms as solid, indestructible particles that make up all matter. Many reference uh, materials refer to Dalton's concept of the atom as the billiard ball model. Scientists have modified several of Dalton's ideas based on later discoveries. So what we have is Dalton's atomic theory. So what he pretty much uh, put together were his own theories about the atom. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. An atom cannot be created, destroyed, or divided into smaller particles. Yes, there are, you know, there are smaller particles which are considered subatomic. <coughs> particles, but all together they form the smallest unit that we can possibly have. The atoms of one element cannot be converted into the atoms of any other element. Okay? So if you have a molecule of hydrogen, it's not just going to turn into helium. Okay? It's not going to turn into oxygen or carbon. Okay? So whatever the atom is, it's going to be that atom. Something else is going to be something else. Okay? All the atoms of one element have the same properties, such as mass and size. These properties are different from the properties of the atoms of any other element. So. If we look at the mass number, notice how the mass number is different from, you know, element to element to element. None of them share the same mass number. Okay, and we'll look at what uh, the combination of the mass number will give us. Um, atoms of different elements combine in specific proportions to form compounds. If we look at a molecule of water, what is the formula of water? H2O, right? So this molecule of water is going to be the same always. It will be your one oxygen bonded to two hydrogens. Okay, So it's a definite proportion in terms of for every molecule the same, you know, the same compound. Okay, So if we're looking at water, you know, it's always H2O. One oxygen, two hydrogens. We look at CO2, carbon dioxide. Okay, We have one carbon, two oxygens bonded surrounding it. Here is now pretty much from Dalton's theory, they've expanded and created something called a modern atomic theory. And what you're going to do okay, is compare Dalton's atomic theory to the modern atomic theory. And notice how they've changed it. We know here we see there are four, okay, uh, pretty much four strands in terms of the modern atomic theory, okay, four parts to it. Dalton's had five. See what, the, what changes had been made over the years. Okay? Here, according to the, the modern atomic theory, all matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Each atom is made up of smaller subatomic particles called protons, neutrons, electrons. Okay? Similar to, uh, to the first two okay? theories of Dalton's theories. The atoms of one element cannot be converted into atoms of any other element by a chemical reaction. So, we, as we said before, oxygen is not going to turn into the next element spontaneously. Okay? Whatever the element is, that's what the element is. We cannot just convert it to something else. Atoms of one element have the same properties such as average mass and size. These properties are different <coughs> from the properties of the atoms of any other element. We look at the mass number. The only time the mass number changes, right? but we're looking at it in terms of an average mass. Right? The isotopes, yes, they change the mass number, but there's, it's still within the average. Okay? So they're all pretty much in terms of size. The number of electrons that are circling around them all represent the same size. Remember, the electrons don't really change much. Uh, they gain, they lose, but how many can they gain? How many can they possibly lose to really make a difference in terms of size? Now, atoms of different elements combine in specific proportions to form compounds. Same thing as we said before. The H2O molecule of water is always two hydrogens combined with one oxygen. <coughs> carbon dioxide, one carbon combined with two oxygens. Okay, so notice how the two theories are very, very similar to one another.